All right, I did my uh, final paper on the NCAA and the future of college sports, primarily focusing on uh, football and revenue generating sports in general. Um, growing up in the South and uh, really getting to witness uh, the power of the SEC and attending an SEC school and just understanding how much money and um, that they bring in on a yearly basis. And it's not uncommon for an SEC school to bring in hundreds of million, a hundred, hundred million dollars or more a year uh, in revenue and uh, so the NCAA was founded in 1906 um, in 1905 18 football players actually died playing the sport so um, that prompted the NCAA's founding and um, their primary goal is to maintain a level playing field uh, for all of its member universities whether that means uh, fair recruiting rules or um, <clears throat> rules for on the field of play to, to make sure it is a safe game for all the athletes uh, that participate. And uh, the NCAA is actually a not-for-profit tax-exempt organization, which is pretty surprising considering um, the hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars that they bring in. Um, just in the month of March alone, they bring in $800 million from uh, the March Madness basketball tournament. And um, this is a uh, pretty shocking considering uh, that they put in so much effort into making sure that athletes don't get uh, any of the pie or any of the revenue that is brought in by the member universities or the NCAA alone. And uh, none of this will be possible uh, without the athletes. Um, and so that's why I feel it's a huge double standard. And um, they are the ones who are putting their bodies on the line. Um, every day uh, for the athlete, for the schools and the NCAA to bring in the money, and it wouldn't be possible without them. Uh, a few examples of athletes who are really pivotal in their universities um, is so Peyton Manning, Johnny Manziel, Cam Newton, Tim Tebow, all those guys while at their universities um, brought in huge amounts of money. Um, jersey sales people coming to the games just to see them play, um, memorabilia bought, um, just different things like that. So I found a stat from um, Joyce and Julius and Associates. They did a report on uh, Texas A&M from uh, November of 2012 to uh, January of 2013, just a two-month span, um, right when Johnny Manziel was uh, on his Heisman campaign really playing well and putting lots of people in seats just coming to see him play and it's expected that uh, just in that two month span that he brought in 37 million dollars alone uh, to Texas A&M just through media exposure um, online TV and um, he was compensated nothing for that but Texas A&M uh, enjoyed all the profits and they're still reaping the benefits and recruiting and players who want to come to Texas A&M just because he was there um, <clears throat> so how is this going to be solved? What is the resolution? Um, I believe that it's going to be very hard to give athletes wages or salaries or anything like that, but I do believe that uh, full cost of attendance scholarships uh, will be given to athletes. What that means is, um, so if you are an athlete and, uh, or if you are a student and you get a full academic scholarship, you'll be given, uh, a living expense and transportation uh, scholarship as well as um, your tuition and books scholarship and um, so I think this is a way that athletes can be given more to live on and uh, m more uh, funding without having to get a part-time job which is currently impossible with uh, the schedules and rigors of uh, the college athlete but um, also a way that universities don't have to give you know extremely large salaries to um, athletes which they claim they can't afford um, and actually this past summer Ed O'Bannon and a few former athletes of the NCAA um, sued the NCAA and actually won um, so many uh, things are coming in the future and in the next 50 years I think it's going to be very different um, in the uh, in the realm of college sports. Um, 
I think all of this could be solved, and uh, universities wouldn't have to pay athletes much at all if they could receive endorsements or uh, be in, you know, local uh, TV. Com-